everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today we are opening two boxes of the brand new 2020 Topps Heritage Miners. This just came out yesterday. I decided to kind of keep the video back for today with all of the uh, triple threads hoopla from yesterday. So we're going to open these up and see what we can find in here. Now you can see that Adley Rushman, the number one overall pick, gets the cover boy spot. On this edition, last year for 2019 Heritage Miners, it was Wander Franco. There's 18 packs per box and 8 cards per pack. Now, a hobby box of these is going to run you about $70 to $71 after tax and shipping. That's what the rate is on Tops.com and also Still City Collectibles. You can see we're also looking for two chances uh, to make your pro debut with the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs. So I believe we're an affiliate of the Philadelphia Phillies. Some cool stuff right there. So 1971 design. Here's the no purchase necessary stuff for those of you that like that. I'll show you the pack odds once we get this open up. So let's get to ripping. First up, we've got Clem taking a box and Garrett taking a box. We'll start with Clem's box first. Best of luck to you, Clem. And thank you for letting us open your cards on video. Let's hope we can find some good stuff in here. There's one autograph and one relic per box, along with a box topper. There's your box topper. <laughs> These packs are ugly looking. Just, um, it's the 1971 pack design, but that, man, that green with the purple, kind of a hideous sight when you first open it, but hopefully there's some great cards in here. The cards will look pretty nice though. They're all gonna have a 1971 style design. So here we go. Best of luck to you, Clem. Let's see what we can find. Here's the odds in case you would like to see those. You can go ahead and pause that and read through that if you'd like to. We'll save that box topper as well. All right, so leading things off, we have Victor Mesa Jr. from the Marlins. Forrest Whitley, former top pitching prospect there for the Astros. Cody Hose is a nice one. Riley Green, the scratch-offs, I think, are one in every four or four-and-a-half pack. Shane Bass, former number one pick of the Pirates, now in the Tampa Bay Rays organization as they traded him away. Also, you got to look out for short prints. I think cards number 200 to 220 are short prints, and those are featuring some of the best prospects, guys like Bobby Wood Jr., Adley Rushman, Joey Bart, uh, Jared Kellenick, Langoliers, J.J. Bleday, Joe Adele. 194 cards in the base set. Another scratch off. Francisco Alvarez, a nice prospect there for the Mets. Found a bunch of his autos in the um, 2020 Bowman Chrome break, and they were quite valuable. Now, you might be thinking, hey, you're missing a bunch of autos. Every single card, though, has an auto on it. The thing that we have to look out for is some blue ink typically i believe these are signed in blue ink the actual signatures we have a mini of jared kelnick right there matthew libitor and ulrich bolcharski is the last one some of these names are tough to pronounce you'll be seeing these guys a lot of these guys are going to start making their mlb debuts probably 2021 next year in 2022 quinn priester former number one pick for the pirates Anderson Franco steals the series with a five-out save. Bryce Ball, stolen base leaders from last season. Now, I'm wondering what they're going to do with 2021. There's a J-Rod, Julio Rodriguez, very nice prospect with the Mariners. I don't know what's going to happen for 2021 Heritage Miners. I mean, I, I assume they're going to have it. There's going to be no stats because as you know, there was no minor leagues this year. Minor leagues were canceled, and it looks like we have our first hit. It is going to be a Sam Huff from the Texas Rangers, and it is a nice game-used relic. So that's our first hit. Pretty cool there. I like that you have two chances of getting uh, hits, usually in the regular Heritage release that came out, oh, when was that, like late February, early March? The MLB Low Series Heritage, those I feel like, Typically, there's my buddy Brock Deathrage. I feel like those were typically almost always relics, like 80% or more were relics. But guess what? We're doing autographing here, and let's hope it's going to be a nice prospect. There's Hunter Green, who is the cover boy of the 2018 Bowman Box. Tariq Skubal is a nice one for you Tigers fans. Pulled his uh, auto out of a uh, pack opening that I did. Bryce Wilson. And uh, I would be remiss to just gloss over C.J. Abrams. Nice, another number one 
first round pick there. Luis Campusano's in this one. Elihiris Montero. Still looking for an autograph. And there it is. Peyton Burdick from the Lumber Kings. I don't know much about Peyton Burdick. Some of these guys I know better than others. But um, you can see he had a 308 average last year in the minors with 11 dingers. Nice looking card right there for Clem. So Clem, congrats. Those are the two hits. Brent Honeywell. I feel like we'd see him in the major leagues already if not for some injuries. Had some setbacks. Got great stuff. Let's check out the rest of your pack here, Clem. Ryan Weathers. That's David Weathers' son. Bobby Bradley. You're getting a lot of Bobby Bradley looks in your 2020 packs. Alec Bohm. Lots of Bobby Bradley autographs here and there. Has rookie cards throughout the 2020 releases. Outfielder for the Cleveland Indians. Jesus Sanchez from the Baby Cakes. Some interesting names. The River Bandits. Lots of interesting minor league names. There's Adley Rushman, scratch-off card. And I think I heard somewhere Evan White made his major league debut this year and played um, most of the season for the Mariners, struggled mightily. I think he might have had the lowest batting average amongst any qualifier. That's players that had 3.1 at-bats or plate appearances per team game. But it looks like the minor leagues are now going to become part of the major leagues. The minor leagues... Uh, basically, what I'm trying to say here is, uh, will now be governed by Major League Baseball. And that could mean, I think, 40 minor league affiliates closing up shop. Here's another guy that made his MLB debut this year. Key, Brian Hayes. And there's Wander Franco. That's a nice one. Probably the number one card in the set is he's the number one uh, prospect. Uh, Key, Brian Hayes was the rookie of the month for September for the National League. So very... Nice card right there. One of the few bright spots for the Pittsburgh Pirates in 2020. Jazz Chisholm, very nice prospect. Hey, Tim Tebow. He really struggled last year. Tim Tebow only hit 163. I believe in 2018 he was an all-star in double A, but just uh, couldn't get it going in triple A. was really, really exposed, and I don't know if he's ever going to make the major leagues. We got a congratulations card. You could scratch that off, Clem, and possibly give yourself... Um, a pro debut opportunity. That'd be pretty awesome. I doubt that they'd actually let you play in the game. I think I was reading the uh, the legalese of that contest last year, and I don't think you get to play in a game, but you do get to work out with the team on the field ahead of time, stretch with the team, throw with the team, take batting practice with the team. I think you get to sit in the dugout. I don't know. Maybe they add you to the roster, but you just don't get to play. Wouldn't that be something if they added you to the roster? There's a Sean Jelly, nice Giants prospect right there. They added you to the roster, and then the game goes like 18 innings, and they've used everyone on their bench except for you, and they're they're just guaranteed that they're you're not getting in. And then there's just some horrific injury in the outfield or something like that, <laughs> and you have to get in the game. Wouldn't that be something? That would be awesome. Alex Kirilov, that's a great card right there from the Twins. Alex Kriloff actually made his major league debut last week. He didn't play a single game in the big leagues all season. He made his major league debut in the playoffs. Poor twins, they just cannot win a playoff game. There's O'Neill Cruz had a really tough and tragic offseason. O'Neill Cruz is okay, but he was involved in a horrific accident down in the Dominican Republic, which uh, claimed the lives of um, some citizens down there. But uh, O'Neill Cruz is going to be all right, and that's going to be uh, – hopefully he can, you know, be okay and get past it. That's going to be a really, really tough thing that he's dealing with. There's Josh Young, very nice Texas Rangers, number one pick. Kyle Eastbell and Uniel Diaz from the Bay Sox. Here's Clem's last pack. Then we have that one other box, and we'll be breaking a whole bunch of these boxes – Sixto Sanchez, very nice card right there. Started a, the do-or-die game for the Marlins today and lost. A very nice blue parallel, Matthew Allen out of 99. That's a sleek-looking card right there from the Brooklyn Cyclones. Like that one a lot. And the last couple cards here, Mason Martin and Josiah Gray. Let's check out your box topper. It's baseball's greatest moments for Clem. Uh, it's going to be a Xavier Edwards triple coverage, one of the game's greatest moments. So I don't think there's much value to these. I'm not sure if these could be autographed or not. Sometimes they'll say that, but eh, 
I guess we'll never know. Maybe some of you guys will find an autograph and let us know. I do know that with Heritage, or not Heritage, but with Archives from 2020 Tops, 2020 Tops Archives, you know those 1964 giant box loader cards that were inserted into blaster boxes, actually. Those can be autographed. I actually pulled one for myself when I opened 100 packs of those. It wasn't for myself, it was for Jason, but uh, it was a nice Aristides Aquino autograph. Now, I don't think that the Wide Vision ones are autographed from Stadium Club. There's um, a card about the size of this called Wide Visions in the blaster boxes of Stadium Club. And I'm pretty sure that you can't find an autograph. I have about 100 of those as well. I was like, maybe I should do another video like this and open 100 of those. But looked on eBay and tried to find the most valuable card from the Wide Visions. And I didn't see a single autograph. They are kind of valuable. The Fernando Tatis Jr. I remember was selling for like 30 bucks a card. So some nice stuff in Stadium Club. All right, Garrett. Since this is our second box, I'm going to do what I like to call a super rip. I'm just going to do each stack at once. Open all six packs from each stack, and then we'll look through them. Just kind of, we'll get the video moving along, and uh, we'll see if we can finish right around the 20 minute mark, which is always kind of like the gold standard for my channel. I like to be around 20 minutes. All right, so some of you might be thinking, hey, wait a second, isn't today Thursday? Where's Throwback Thursday? That's coming up tonight. There we go. A very nice hit right there off the very top. Shea Langoliers. Out of 99, Blue Border Autograph. That's going to be the best card of the day, guys. Shea Langliers, what, first round pick for the Braves. A great, great prospect right there for Garrett. Congratulations on that one. Awesome looking card. Love the blue with the blue border. And you still have a relic in here as well. There's Seth Beer, former um, prospect traded for, what, Zach Granke, I think. Um, Granky in the news today for telegraphing his pitch, basically telling <laughs> Ramon Laureano what he was going to throw. And Laureano took him deep. Right now, that game's 3-2 to two in the fourth inning as I'm filming this. It's a do-or-die game for the A's. Here's a really nice card. Ian Anderson has been just lights out for the Braves in the playoffs. No one can hit him. Dylan Carlson, i to double-check and see if that one was a short print. Jordan Adams, nice White border card out of 50. That's our lowest numbered card yet. A nice Jordan Adams. Again, if you missed it, uh, these sell for, I think it's $60 on tops.com after tax and shipping. It's $71. Here comes the hit. We have D.L. Hall from the Baltimore Orioles. D.L. Hall, a piece of his game used memorabilia right there. Nice looking card from the Frederick Keys. So, got the two hits. Now, we'll see what else we can find. Maybe we'll find a one-of-one, one, which would be pretty nice. Casey Mize, he made his Major League debut. One of a ton of guys that could possibly be um, in the 2021 Tops base set. A whole bunch of guys have come up and made their Major League debut. Casey Mize, Joey Bart, Christian Pache. That's just to name a couple. It'll be interesting to see you. When the checklist comes out, I'm really looking forward to seeing the checklist for 2020 Tops Update. What's today? The 8th of October. That's going to be hopefully coming out within a week or two. The release of 2020 Tops Update is slated for October 30th. That's a Friday, if I'm not mistaken. So another fabulous Friday release. I tend to enjoy the Wednesday releases myself, but that's just me. All right, Garrett, let's see what we can find for you here. All right, CJ Abrams is in here. And Nico Holsizer, a nice prospect. There's Shea Langoliers, one of Garrett's new favorite players, maybe, because of the autograph. Bryce Turang, nice prospect. Andrew Vaughn, number three overall pick. A nice Michael Bush. Anthony Volpe is a nice one. Pulled his autograph not too long ago. I think it might have been in a uh, Face-Off Friday. Maybe about a month ago. There's Daz Cameron. I do believe that's Mike Cameron's son. We'll see if he follows up in his father's footsteps. Cameron, Mike Cameron, had a very nice career. Bradley Zimmer. Bradley Zimmer is back down in the minors. Man, we got to get Bradley Zimmer back up. He, uh, I feel like his rookie card was, what, 2016 tops or 2017 tops, and now he's back down there. I like Bradley Zimmer a lot. Hope he can work his way back. Tyler Freeman, Brady Singer, Xavier Edwards. Tristan Casas for you Red Sox fans out there. There's jo Jordan Gross-Hans. 
And there's your Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs. Have fun scratching those off. When I did the, uh, when I used to do team breaks with this, all those extra cards were left over. I don't even know how many we did, but I feel like I had like 200 of those cards. I scratched them all off and uh, did not get to make my major league debut, unfortunately, or my pro debut. It didn't win. And I think you have to type in a code on some website, and that literally took like, I don't know, a couple hours, so it was kind of annoying. All I wanted to do was make my pro debut. That would have been fun. All right, Garrett, let's see if we can find in your last stack. You already found both of your hits, but maybe there'll be a one-of-one one or something in here. For Throwback Thursday, we'll be live in a little bit doing 2010 Tops Chrome, looking for Giancarlo Stanton, Steven Strasburg rookies. Uh, who else is in there? Josh Donaldson. So that'll be a nice one. We'll be live. I've got two cases of that to go through. All right, we've got a scratch off Max Lazar, and there's another Alex Kirillov. Starting to see a lot of repeats now. It's kind of to be expected once you get, you know, almost this far. Jordan Brewer from the Valley Cats. Nice looking hair right there for Brewer. Anthony Cabello saw him a lot in uh, Bowman Chrome. Dalton Varsho, Alec Thomas. There's your runs leaders card. Hunter Bishop. And let's see if we can... I, do you see another blue border card coming up? Let's see who it's going to be. It is going to be Luis Patino from the Sod Poodles. And it's numbered out of 99. Royce Lewis, nice prospect for the Twins. You'll be seeing him uh, front and center probably in a year or two. Shirton Apostle. I always liked... Um, was that our guy? I can't remember if Shirton Apostle was the guy that always put the uh, money sign in his name. And then Braden Shoemake is the last one right there. Before we go, let's check out the Greatest Moments card and see what we can find in here for Garrett. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you like this new release preview. Hopefully it can make up your mind for you if you want to spend the uh, 70 bucks or so on this product. To pick up a box and try your luck and see if you can find yourself an Adley Rushman or Bobby Witt Jr. autograph or some of those other great guys in this set as well. So, Garrett, thank you very much. Clum, thank you very much. Thank you to all of you for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday. I'll see you a little bit for Throwback Thursday live stream. And if not, I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.